Hi, I'm Arthur, and it's no secret that in the 40k universe there is a substantial amount of hate. It's almost ubiquitous with the entirety of the fiction itself, so when trying to describe to people who don't know anything about the setting that the Tau are particularly divisive, I find myself in a bit of a hard spot. If you've been playing for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People hate the Tau. Even from the perspective of Tau players, they acknowledge that their faction is hated for not entirely unreasonable means. But this is a lore video covering lore shit. So I guess I gotta get into that. So to start, what is a Tau? Well, that's a rather reductionist question for a video essay about blue aliens that have a disproportionately large amount of people who wanna fuck them. To put it in simplest terms, the Tau Empire is a conglomerate of dozens of races that have folded to the military and technological might of a race that refer to themselves as the Tau. Oh jeez, the Tau Empire is run by the Tau, next you're gonna say the Empire of Mankind is ran by, by me, I, yeah sorry, I'm, I'm not on my A game today, I had, I had something and then I lost it, regardless. The Tau we are going to be talking about are the Tau race proper, because even though on the tabletop you can field Tau accessories like the Vespid and the Kroot, who honestly does? It's a sad fact that we shall likely get into later. The Tau as a race are peculiar to put it lightly. Essentially they are a hyper expansionist race of Xenos that for some reason in the last couple thousand years have gone from banging sticks and rocks together to having technology that in a lot of ways rivals and surpasses the Imperium of Mankind's own technology. To say that is a bit unprecedented is a bit of an understatement. The reason being is they kinda had like a more streamlined version of the Emperor of Mankind showing up and doing his own thing. Initially there were technically four casts of Tau with each individual specialties. They evolved in different locations. The fire cast were described as average in height to their entire race, but faster, quicker, and physically strong. Then you have the earth cast, which were more squat, bulkier, physically the strongest but slowest to react. The water cast, which were more conventionally attractive to the race as well as more adept in social graces. Then the air cast, they were thin. They all kind of did caveman-y shit, I guess, but the thing that advanced them is like when the Emperor showed up to unite all of mankind, the Tau had a fifth cast to show up, the ethereal cast, which were wise, strong, and lived for hundreds of years for some reason. So I'm not going to say that this ethereal cast used pheromone-based secretion magic brain control to control the other casts of Tau into immediately accepting the ethereals as their leaders. I'm not. But I am going to say a couple thousand years later, with all of them working together under the ethereals almost supernaturally, did kind of happen. So because the four casts were brought together and they settled all their differences, whoops, no war crimes. Which is kind of a first for this channel. Yeah, they had a peaceful idea of how to conquer the universe instead of the Imperium do what I say or I blow up your planet, they actually had several more steps in between the do what I say and blow up the planet parts. Which for 40k standards means they're essentially saints. Sure, they do have a very er uh, communal wink way of living. Their philosophies being that all groups of people under the banner of the Tao should collectively work together to a greater good for the whole. You know, we all have the same standard of living, so let's try and make it better for everyone. Except the Ethereals, they are just better. So, yeah, I guess that's a negative if you don't like the idea of ever moving up in the world. They made mech suits, they made safe plasma rifles, they made the logical decision that no sane creature would ever want to get within melee range if they had advanced as much as them. Just use long distance super rifles. Man, they had a rough time dealing with the Imperium when they were discovered. 
Dog, I mean it. Like, the fight was so funny to me in lore. It's the same shit as the Necron and the Eldar. Same... Sure, our methods are primitive, but you know what? We got a lot of heart. I remember one spot in lore, I think it was during the Damocles Crusade, where they dissected a dreadnought and found out that this fucker was older than the entirety of Tau civilization, and he was just a front line, I'm going to fight them with my claws guy. So, yeah, it was kind of funny. They really had no idea how to cope with us when our spaceships were coming in with broadsides and they were using long-range torpedoes. Because in their eyes, who the fuck was going to use broadsides? It's a fucking three-dimensional battle space. And that's why we won. They didn't see that shit coming. So, Tower, a hyper-advanced race that doesn't have the capacity to understand races choosing more primitive means of combat, and because of that, their naivety usually leads to them having difficulties with melee obsessed races. That's kind of an overview of what they are and what they are like, but it doesn't really explain why people hate them. They are kind of in the middle of the Eldar Necron where they are so advanced they get spooked by the Imperium's frothing berserkers, but not arrogant like those two races that I mentioned. There are several different reasons as to why. Many of them start on the tabletop, so let's get into the main one. I played Tau once. I sold them after a long ass while, but let me try and explain this to people in ways that would make sense for people who don't even play. So in prior editions, there were several phases for someone's turn. An individual person would do every phase in their turn, doing each individual action that a miniature could do, and then they would pass it over to the other person. Basically dividing the actions you can do in the game into those phases. So you have a movement phase to move your miniatures, a psychic phase to do your wizard shit, a shooting phase to, uh, shoot, and a melee phase to charge into glorious melee. The reason Tau were kinda hated is, well, you didn't do anything in any other phase except for the shooting phase. Tau don't have psychers because in lore their souls are too weak to be able to manifest anything from the warp. They don't have melee, and it's almost a meme as to how quickly they crumple in fucking melee. And they have long distance high powered ranged weapons. They also weren't too tanky, so if you got into melee range, or like range of the other guy's guns, you'd probably die quickly. What this translates to is if someone is playing Tau properly, they would probably have their miniatures as far away from yours as possible and just blow your entire army off the board before you even got a chance to play. It got so bad, I believe in 9th edition, people would actively refuse to fight against Tau in tournaments. It sucks. Because how it would go is if the Tau player went first, they would get to their shooting phase, and because their weapons cover more or less half the board, blow whatever miniatures were in range of your army off the board, more or less killing half of your fucking army. And if you went first, you would try to get within range, shoot a few of their miniatures, and maybe try and get a charge off, and if you didn't, well, just go back to what I said how a Tau first turn would go, except you were more in range, so they'd probably blow off more of your army. It's not fun to play as because you don't move, you don't melee, you don't do psychic shit, you just shoot. It's literally just rolling dice to shoot and it's miserable to play against as it's just a gun line that if you get to them and you get into melee, congrats, you probably win because they just fold one after another. It's not fun to play as, it's not fun to play against. That's kind of the point on the tabletop that people like to make. And the railguns, oh my god, the railguns in 9th edition were so fucking powerful that they could atomize most small tanks. That's the tabletop stuff. Then you have the people upset about the lore. Why is that? Because they are kind. They treat their civilians with a great deal of compassion and fairness when they are not sterilizing them. Other than the implications of something more significantly fucked up than I am willing to go into at length about right now, the Tau, generally speaking, goes about the whole conquering of the galaxy in a way very much diplomatically by opening up trade and whatnot. It's honestly kind of cool. They trade weapons, armor, supplies, and eventually just peacefully ask if you wish to 
be a member of their empire, and most times, if you say no, they won't immediately kill you. Though, in the Vespid case, it was, er, uh, lobotomize-y. So because of those lore tidbits, people find that they're very anti-grimdark. It very much feels like they're a race that is not supposed to be a part of this setting. And I could see why people think that, because it very much is alien to what most people in the 40k setting are used to. Which I think is a good reason why they're a part of the setting. The Tau are a long-range, hyper-advanced army that, in my own opinion, are just a little bit... Yeah, boring. The gun lines aren't my thing to play against or as. I love their model range because I did in fact have a Gundam phase when I was younger, but I just find them inoffensive and boring as a whole. I like most Xenos races, and this is no exception. I like them, but I don't think I would ever play them again unless they gave crude support. But what do you think? Because the Tau are a complicated faction that is stuck in a small section of space due to not having the ability to warp travel yet. So for them to present a decent challenge in any military conflict they're a part of is very intriguing. I know they are divisive, but I want to know what you guys think. Also, remember to like and subscribe. Also, look at this fucking art, holy shit! Yeah, I thought it was time for me to upgrade the old profile pic for YouTube, so I commissioned Lulzy for a new one, and she did a fantastic job on it. Um, her links are going to be in the description of this video and every video going forward, as long as I have this profile picture. Please make sure to follow and support them. They are a very talented artist. Alongside that, I want to thank my channel members for helping me through these long months where rations are low and people keep screaming about how hot Tao women are, which, okay, go off, I guess. If you want to become a channel member and see all my videos early, then I would greatly appreciate that. Until next time, I want to say, why the fuck did we get rid of so many crew models? I thought they were all really cool, and a lot of people seem to like them too. Look at the dinosaur chicken. I want that. That's really fucking cool.